America's veterans and transitioning service members often leave the military with life-altering disabilities and long-term challenges that can make employment after serving our country very difficult. Our Trey Francis talked with the Executive Director of Veteran Readiness and Employment about what's available to help out our veterans. I do receive veteran benefits, but it takes so long for veterans to get benefits. What I can tell you as far as for veteran readiness and employment benefits, um, you know, we make an entitlement decision uh, quite quickly within 60 days uh, for vr &E. So I, I, I can't quite comment on that. Diabetes and some other problems related to Agent Orange. I have high blood pressure. I have thyroid problems. And they supposedly all are related to Agent Orange. Yet there's no benefits given for high blood pressure. There are currently benefits uh, for Vietnam veterans when it comes to Agent Orange exposure, depending upon their service. Um, however, that, that's really a question um, that, that's better handled by our, our service connected disability division. We also asked if benefits would be raised with inflation. I'm sure there are individuals looking at that, but I, I honestly couldn't uh, say one way or the other whether or not benefits would or would not rise as a result of inflation. The Department of Veterans Affairs offers benefits and guidance for service members with connected disabilities. It's not just a submit an application and receive a benefit. It is a regular and recurring engagement that a veteran um, who is at least 10% service connected or greater uh, and has an employment uh, disability, uh, that engagement with a counselor occurs on a regular and recurring basis to make sure that the veterans' goals are met, their objectives are met, and any obstacles that they're facing to get that employment outcome that they're trying to achieve uh, is addressed. Trey Francis reporting for KATC TV3.